So thank you, Caroline, uh, for creating a pathway for me to speak. Um, my name's Lena Hughes. I'm from Drew, Australia, and uh, we're about yoga. And uh, the first part of my presentation is going to be a little bit about our organisation and what we do, where we're located and so on. And the second part will be um, how City CRM has come into that picture and helped us to fulfil our mission. So, here goes nothing <laughs> and everything. I um, submitted the title for this talk of Why Did the Yogis Cross Over to Civi CRM? And uh, my, um, my role is Course Inquiries Manager for Drew Australia, and I'm also one of the regional managers for Drew Australia, so my patch is Sydney and surrounding areas, but I'm located in Canberra most of the time, and so, um, you know, we already need to look beyond our immediate area. And um, so the, uh, we're a non-for-profit non organisation, and we're here, as Caroline suggested, uh, like many of you I know, trying to make a difference in the world. The, um, I think that it's appropriate that yogis are about union. You know, the word yogi or yoga means union and it's about union with ourselves. Um, it's about union with other people and about union with all of life, you know? So basically the objective when we do yoga is to feel oneness rather than separation. And so CRM, contact relationship management. It's um, a similar um, objective, you might say. So this is what we're doing now with our community. We're also, yogi, yoga is about stretching and about extending ourselves and uh, being able to adapt to change. And we're in a changing world. Uh, there's no doubt about that. So what is a yogi? This is um, a yogi. I've just been in Sydney actually for the last three days at a yoga conference where we had a lot of different styles of yoga um, and teachers come together and um, there was a common thread. And these days people will often think of yoga as um, being something that you do for your physical health, but it's actually something that works on all levels of our being. So, and it's got to do with um, not, able, not only being able to interrelate with ourselves, but also with the world as well, and to hold a place in the world that, um, where we can make a difference. So, on a personal level, as a yogi, what we're aspiring to do is to be the best me that I can be. So, a few stretches and we look in the mirror and we start to see that best version of ourselves, maybe more than what we imagined ourselves to be able to be. This is Andrew Wells um, in a traditional posture, the eagle posture. He's our IT director. He's an Australian born, but located in the UK. And uh, I know some of you have had quite a lot to do with Andrew. He's, um, it's been his vision really to expand our way of being in the world, not just on a physical level, but also through, um, through IT and by bringing in CIVI. Our mission for Drew is to give people the tools to transform themselves so they can transform the world. So it's not just about um, helping our own personal health and so on, it's so that we can be the best version of ourselves so that we can make a difference. Initially, uh, Drew, in, um, you know, we're about to have our 40th, 40th anniversary next year. We started out taking uh, Drew yoga out to war zones in Bosnia and places like that and um, sort of be on the front line of people with huge needs, tra traumatised um, areas and so on. But we gradually realised that what we needed to do rather than go to the front lines was actually train other people so that they can go and take yoga where it's needed and where it can be helpful. So, hence our mission. The evolution of yoga. Yoga's come a long way. 5,000 years ago, it was about yogis sitting in the forest somewhere. They were forest dwellers sitting in little ashrams um, under trees, and it was an oral tradition then. You know, People would tell stories to each other. They would demonstrate poses one-to-one -one in person, 
and that's how the tradition was um, conveyed. Here um, in the bottom right hand corner, <laughs> my friends and I, five yogis, five yogis 5,000 years ago, five yogis last year at the visiting the museum decide to sit down in the grass and do a spinal twist, you know, <laughs> so it's, this is the evolution um, and a different way of being, or is it, you know, it's pretty much the same really. We take yoga indoors and outdoors, and uh, so the top left-hand picture is about one of our uh, UK presenters was out last year, and he, he's very much into um, the yoga of food. Perhaps some of you might be interested in that if you're not interested in the yoga of stretching. And uh, so he was um, teaching people about health from that aspect. And then in the bottom right-hand corner, we've got... Um, our team that was presenting the first webinar in Australia, so taking yoga online and out to people that way, quite a bit different to the um, forest dwellers 5,000 years ago, but this is moving with the times. These days, we're backed by research, so the Drew effect, you know, um, for those people that need the proof, you know, we've got the stats to say, yes, people are helped, you know, by, um, more composure, they're feeling more energised, they become more agreeable, their self-confidence increases. There's lots and lots of um, benefits that we can um, portray as well. So I started with a slide, Drew Australasia, which is Australia and New Zealand, but actually we're an outreach centre. We're one of the biggest outreach centres for Drew. The original um, home of Drew, you might say, is in Wales, and that's four of our yogis um, outside one of the cottages there. And in the UK, we've also got centres in London, Leeds, Midlands and Scotland. We've also um, got a Drew centre in Ireland. Then in Europe, um, the Netherlands is the biggest um, centre for Drew there, but Germany's um, quick on the heels at the moment, growing fast, Switzerland, Belgium. And then uh, we've got um, Paul in Africa, starting to run courses there. And in Canada, we've got a, a group of yogis there as well, Drew Yogis. So I'm giving you this as an overview of, you know, before it was small pockets of um, yogis and their forests quite separate from each other, but this is Drew, you know, expanding. This is Australia. Um, so in, we're, as I said, not-for-profit organisation. We're volunteer operated for the most part. And um, I did a presentation in the UK last year and did some stats then. So at that time, we had 325 volunteers all around Australia and New Zealand contributing towards um, the operation of the organisation. Uh, we had uh, 206 people doing yoga teacher training courses. 38 people on a meditation teacher training, 136 people doing postgraduate training courses, and 500 people had attended master classes and workshops in a year. So just to give you a sense of the size of what we're doing. And the Drew Drops, which is our logo, they um, are placed where we're running the main training courses. So you can see geographically the expanse of what we do as well. So, Drew's about promoting positive health, positive well-being, and just basically making a positive difference to the world. We run the yoga teacher training, meditation teacher training. The Drew Professional Network is a big part of what we do, and that's um, support for our graduates, so that once people are graduated, there's an ongoing community of support for them um, to help them with their further training and to... Um, provide a, a range of resources as well to help them in their teaching and what they, how they take the yoga out into the world. I've already mentioned the postgraduate training courses, workshops, retreats and master classes. This is myself and uh, one of my colleagues uh, three or four years ago at a local yoga festival and how we used to promote things then and it was pretty much manually. We'd have a stall and um, have all our products out there. We had a computer on the table with um, probably a DVD showing on a loop, and um, that was our way of marketing ourselves at that time. And you can there's a, a mailing list there 
um, where we'd take people's details and so on. It was fun, and we still need that um, face-to-face -face contact with people. But we're a growing organisation, so we've gone online. We've got an online shop. We've got a mail-order centre that works with that. An online yoga studio. Um, we were the, the first, and um, Andrew would say, still the best, um, online yoga studio. Um, so people can access Drew Yoga 24-7 anywhere around the world, any time they want. The Drew Star Lounge, um, I'm telling you there's not, I'm, I'm hoping it's not sounding just like a promotion of Drew, but I'm getting to the point of how CIVI has made a difference and enabled all of this. The Drew Star Lounge is a resource we provide to the students on our teacher training courses. So when they come to the training course, they attend that face to face. But then we put up recordings of the material being taught on the Drew Star Lounge, which is a part of our online yoga studio. And so they can access that and refresh themselves on the way those um, uh, aspects of the course were taught to them. Uh, online training courses, so we um, meditation courses, some uh, yogic philosophy courses and so on are available. And um, online event registration, this is something that Civi in the way that we use it has enabled us. So rather than taking manual payments for, for, for all of our events and things, um, we're now able to do that online and um, that's really streamlined our processes a lot and the Drew Professional Network, which is also providing resources online. By the way, yoga's not all hard work. Um, relaxations are really important, so... Um, Okay, so this is a group of our, um, at one of our postgraduate courses, but a good representation of some of our main people around Australia, and in fact from um, overseas as well. We had two UK presenters there, as well as somebody from New Zealand. People had travelled from as far away as Western Australia. So every, we have occasions to come together physically and interact, um, to learn together, to grow together, together to teach together. Um, but a lot of these people, they're a lot of our key volunteers, the people that keep our organisation going. So we might do that a couple of times a, a year, but we need to be interacting in the meantime as well. You can see that we come in all shapes and sizes, all colours, all... Um, ages and levels of fitness. So, um, Drew has grown in the last few years and it was needing, you know, there was a cap, there was a ceiling we'd reached and we could only do so much. And so we needed to look at how we can um, grow the organisation and take the yoga out to more people. And so we got together and um, we reframed the structure of the organisation, so a bit like the snowflake effect that Caroline spoke about. We've now got regional managers around Australia looking after the different regions and areas and holding the responsibility for that and the teams within those um, locations. Um, we're also becoming much more collaborative with our um, colleagues and partners overseas in the UK and Europe and so on as well. So that line, those lines of communication are really important. And uh, we're a global, a local and a global community. So the integrated website and database was Andrew's vision really. And this, he's held that vision for quite a few years. I'm standing here as a humble user of Civi CRM. I just want to make that really clear. My, um, you know, I'm not so much a techie but I was involved in the previous database that we used. I was sort of like the database queen um, in terms of managing the um, integrity of the data and, and so on. And so when uh, Andrew was looking for a different system to use, I was sort of um, working quite closely with him in terms of the functionality that we needed and so on. Uh, so um, his vision was that he wanted to make things easier for all of us that worked within the organisation, but he also wanted to lift the ceiling off how far Drew can go, really, so that it can go out and help more people. So, um, and his vision was to integrate a website and the database. So what we, um, there he was, and he's, you know, he's an amazing guy. I've really got to take my hat off to him. He's, um, 
He spends a lot of time behind a computer, but he's actually a people person. So that's sort of his sacrifice in a way, that he sits behind his computer and uses his amazing mastermind to come up with all these concepts, and he's, uh, he makes himself so available. Um, and it's the eagle posture is like I was um, chuffed when I found that photo of him because the eagle posture, every yoga posture, helps us uh, to work with certain aspects of our consciousness, really. And he is a man with vision. And if you think of an eagle flying and the focus that they have, they can see from a very high perspective of what's needed. And that's sort of how, how Andrew is within our organisation as well, if that makes sense to you. Um, so that was that. So let me see if I can find for you. Andrew, um, forgive me if I use any technical terms that um, somehow don't make sense to you that are technically minded, okay, <laughs> because that's, uh, I'm a user. But um, my understanding is that he used Drupal as a platform and um, integrated it with CVCRM, you know, for the database side of things to manage our systems. So this is the website that he came up with and um, you can see I'm logged in with CVCRM there and I pre-opened a few pages so that I can give you just a bit of an overview of um, the things that we can do now. So on um, the website, I won't, this scrolls, scrolls down quite a lot, but so on a one of the things, the facilities that we've been able to do is for people to be able to find a Drew Yoga teacher or Drew Meditation teacher through our website, through that integrated information, and they can just um, search for the person's name, um, what country they're in, so it's not just Australia, wherever they're located or wherever they're visiting, they can go and find a Drew teacher in their area. And so they just put in their own um, details there. This is... Um, the opening page for the online studio, and um, that's an amazing facility that's come about through, it's one of the success stories of using Civi and Drupal together, that um, it's a library of about, I don't, I don't know what the count is at the moment, there's probably about 150 different yoga sessions on there um, for all styles, and as I said, available to people anywhere in the world. Um, so that's an amazing facility. We can um, promote our, our courses and events there very easily. From a user point of view, what we do is that, um, you know, if I'm going to start a new course in Sydney or um, I've just, in my role as course inquiries manager, I've just put up some of these new courses in the last couple of weeks. So in, um, in 2018, we're going to start a Drew Meditation teacher training in Brisbane. So I was able to go into the back end, set up the event, and it comes up on our website. You know, So that's without too much technical knowledge, I can still do that. And it makes means that we're not dependent. You know, We're, as I said, a non-profit non organisation. We depend on our volunteers. We have to have systems that are easy for people to use. And so it's um, an amazing thing to be able to go in and do that ourselves, to make the changes and so on. Um, and we've got some IT experts helping us as well. The Adelaide course, um, New Zealand course. So um, this is um, our Drew Professional Network page. As I said before, that's for our graduates, our ongoing support for people once they've been through our courses. And they can do things like go in there. Um, occasionally, they'll need to provide proof of their membership of the Drew Professional Network, for instance, so they can go into the website and download uh, a certificate of currency to show you know, a venue, perhaps, that they are currently a member of the Drew Professional Network or if they need to buy um, the insurance for their next year's um, teaching and so on. So, again, it's that the... Um, what I'm trying to explain or demonstrate here is that uh, 
it's an interactive, you know, we've got the commu interactive community on the ground level, but this is online as well, that people can go in and support themselves, they can access things um, through, through the website. Uh, it's our back end. You can see that down here there's a scroll down, so do world home, I'm not sure that I'm, oh yeah, so we've got on the events, if I wanted to look up an event in the UK, like I'm thinking of going over there next year, I'm thinking of taking some of my Sydney team over to the UK so I can go to the UK and look up events and bookings over there. And I can only, I can also, I did this the other day actually, um, I was thinking I wonder how far ahead we'd have to book for a particular event in August next year over in Wales. And I was able to go in and see the number of bookings so, and therefore assess the urgency to be able to guide my local team and so on. So there's sort of lots of um, ways that we can uh, use these facilities. Uh, what else? That's a typical uh, user screen. That's one of mine. I've got a lot of Chesterlina users in there as well. But, and I, you know, I haven't seen how other CIVI CRM, CRM pages look for other organisations. So I don't know if I'm showing you something new here or um, standard, but this is um, the pages that we use for a contact. And so we're, we're um, managing contact details. We're also managing they're, um, to a degree, um, we started managing their payment schedules and that. Our courses have got very complicated payment schedules because we're trying to make our yoga accessible to as many people as possible. Um, we offer everything from customised payment schedules to monthly schedules right through to paying for the course you know, outright. And so we needed a system that could manage those um, very individualised payment schedules over a period of time. Uh, in the UK, they're up and running with that. In Australia, we're um, sort of moving towards um, using that. Uh, memberships, uh, so things like our DPN membership is an example of um, how to use that within the system. Uh, I can look at the activities, I can see how active I've been or this person's been within CVCRM, what they've done um, or what's been done in relation to their records. I can look at a person's um, summary and see, I don't think I'm actually on there at the moment, online. Um, but anyway, I could go and look at, you know, how many events that person's used. Um, I can look at the events that I can easily find what events um, we have conducted in the past and also what events are coming up. I can go in and these are some of the events we've put up in the last few days, the um, different workshop and retreats that we're planning for the next year and we can go in and look at the actual bookings that have been made, the status of the people in regard to those bookings, whether they've, they're just tentatively booked, whether they've actually paid. Um, in my course inquiries role, uh, we're tracking the journey, the customer journey of our um, prospective students, basically. So somebody might make an initial inquiry about our training courses, and so, and I, I'll send them an information pack about the upcoming courses, so I can record that as their status. Uh, if then I talk to them over the phone, perhaps, or we're having some email contact, and it works out that they're really interested, they I change the status, or the application's expected, and so on. So we can record the journey all the way through from their first contact right through to application registered through to their status on the course when the, you know, um, maybe we, like we offer an interim assessment halfway through the training course so we can say whether they went for that and passed it uh, or, you know, whether they, they chose not to do that. We can monitor their home study um, process on the courses 
and whether they're up to date with those requirements. We can um, monitor whether they actually graduated from the course or whether they just attended sessions. So, you know, the whole journey of somebody. Then also this, this system is helping us not to monitor just the, um, the students and participants of our events, but also um, status in relation to whether people are volunteers for the organisation, whether they're tutors on our courses, um, or workshop presenters and so on. So there's levels of involvement within Drew. We, because it's, it's complex, the system is complex, our organisation is complex, we found in introducing CIVI, we started with a pilot program, we took um, a segment of our database and that was the DPN, Drew Professional Network Memberships, and uh, started working with CIVI in that way and proved that it could work. We, you know, we tested the online payment system that way, the self-registration and so on, and then gradually expanded um, and so on. We're still learning. It, when I came to Drew, I was excited because I knew I'd found something that I would always be learning and expanding and challenging myself with. I feel a bit the same way with CIVI, that we've only just started you know, to understand its functionality. We've got so much more to learn and um, I'm really grateful for this opportunity actually to have, um, to be here as attendee and um, hopefully to learn from all of you. And uh, when I go to a Drew event, I often think um, I'm always gonna be in good company because I'm in the presence usually of people with heart, you know, people that wanna make a difference in the world. And I was really chuffed when I understood that most of you are from non not for profit organisations and people that are also wanting to make a difference. So I look forward to a great day. And uh, again, I want to thank Andrew for his inspiration and commitment, his tenacity in making this work. Uh, I, you know, he's been an amazing uh, warrior, really, um, for CIVI and for our organisation. But I think also some of you have had a lot to do with him. And I, he particularly wanted me to mention Oliver Gibson and. Um, also, uh, Peter Davis, um, who's um, apparently you've worked a lot together and he's, you've been a great help to him. So thank you. And um, I look forward to getting to know more of you as the day progresses. Thank you very much.